what are expenses? As I typically like to do, I like to start with some definitions. Let's deal with the textbook definition first. Expenses are decreases in owner's equity resulting from the cost of goods, fixed assets, or services and supplies consumed in the operation of the business. Another really long, wordy definition. Our real definition is money that's spent to earn the income. That's all. Now, remember, it's spent to actually run the business. It can be for things or it can be for services. Other non-textbook definitions that I've heard in the past for expenses are the stuff we used and had to pay for to run our business. Basically, expenses fall into two categories. Some expenses are just the cost of producing or acquiring a product that we're going to sell, and those are called cost of goods sold. We're going to talk about that a little bit later in a whole section by itself. The other type of expenses are what we call overhead, such as rent, payroll, advertising, but it's not for actually building or making or acquiring whatever it is that you're selling. I get asked a lot, is this or that a business expense? Remember that anything you spend that's spent with the intent of assisting you to earn money is an expense. There are going to be some qualifiers on that, so it's not a free-for-all, but that list is probably bigger than you think it is. If you have an office location and you need to purchase supplies to keep the office clean, those are business expenses. If you have a place where customers wait for you, waiting room supplies, chairs, lamps, magazines, music, all those kind of things could be considered business expenses. Can you appropriately and truly add the word business in the phrase business expenses? If so, then you're probably safe. If you're spending money and deep down you can't in your own mind justify that it's to help the business earn money, then it's probably not. The best way that I coach people on this are, are you ready to defend your decision that it was a business decision? You know, let me give you an example. Let's say you own a pizza restaurant and there's a very specific pizza oven that you want to buy. Is the travel to go buy that pizza oven or look at it an expense? Well, is it justified? Are you traveling to Italy to look at one and possibly buy it that's available locally? Eh, probably not. But if that oven in Italy is very specific and you want it for your company, then yeah, it could be. Is the pizza oven itself an expense? Well, yes, you're spending money on it. Another good way to check is, is it for your business? Here's an example. If you go to a grocery store or a big box store, big warehouse store, and you buy a case of paper and 10 pounds of meat, are these business expenses? Well, before you can answer that question, you've got to figure out what kind of business you have. If you have a restaurant, then yeah, more than likely, both of these are going to be business expenses. You're buying copy paper to use in your office, and you could be buying the 10 pounds of meat, the 10 pounds of steak, to sell in your business. But on another hand, let's say you're not running a restaurant, you're running an accounting office. Well, the paper more than likely could be considered the business expense. Most of the time, the meat, the steak, isn't going to be. But wait a second, let's say you're doing an employee picnic to show employee appreciation. Then yeah, it could be. The trick here is you've got to think about your business and determine if the money that you're spending is actually there to help you earn that income. In that last example in the accounting office, somebody could say, wait a second, employee appreciation, is that helping me earn income? Yes, it is. A couple other things I want you to think about. What's an expense for one company may not be for another. As I mentioned during the chart of accounts discussion, there isn't a universal set of expenses. There are some generally accepted ones, but you have to figure out what the expenses you need for your business are. Another note to keep in mind is that taxes that are actually paid by your company are considered expenses. We don't deal with taxes in this course, but if you are paying taxes for your business, that's an expense. On the other hand, if you're collecting taxes like out of an employee's paycheck and paying to the government for that employee, that's not an expense. One other note I'll throw in here is trying to never pay an expense from a statement that you get from a vendor. 
pay it from an invoice. We're going to talk about statements in a little bit, but statements are vague summaries. They just list invoices and payments that have been made. Whereas an invoice itemizes what it is that you've purchased. The invoice proves what it is you actually purchased. And if you have to, it justifies that it was an expense for the business. Thanks for checking out this lesson. We have lots more information and other videos on our channel. Check them out or hit subscribe to find out more. Oh.